Hello, welcome to ST Stand here at Electronica 2024. We have lots of exciting things to show you here today. Our focus is on helping our customers be successful by providing them the solutions they need to address the challenges of transforming industries. So here we are on the automotive side of our booth, and what we're talking about what's usually a completely unseen part of the modern car, namely the electrical and electronic infrastructure. Today's cars have up to 100 electronic control units and thousands of other components. And all of these need to be connected together. You need to bring data, you need to bring power, and you need to connect sensors and actuators throughout the car. In order to do that, you need a big wiring harness. And this is what you see behind me here. This is one of the latest cars on the road, an Audi Q6 e-tron. The wiring harness you see here consists of three and a half kilometers of cables, over 1,500 cables and weighs 60 kilograms. This is state of the art. But obviously car makers are looking to reduce the load of the cables, they're looking to reduce the weight, and also looking to find ways to improve the software management process. In order to do that, there are a couple of key directions. One particularly key thing is the move to domain and zonal architectures. That means basically grouping functions in the car, either by type of function, for example, the door or the door zone, or by the location of the car, so the zonal, so the, the rear, left rear of the car. By doing that, they're able to use a much smaller number of more powerful electronic control units. And this is also key towards creating the software-defined vehicle. Another key issue they have to deal with is uh, power distribution within the car. So today, all of the power is routed to a fuse box, because all of those circuits need to have a fuse that's accessible from the outside. Tomorrow, cars will use electronic fuses. These will be configurable, resettable, and they can also provide diagnostics and monitoring information. So this will be a big, big change. So the solutions that we're offering here for our customers allow them to address these new architectures, for example, with powerful microcontrollers that have advanced over-the-air update capabilities, or with smart fuses. We also have a number of other solutions here for battery management systems, secure car keys, as well as some of the key components that are inside electronic cars, electrification with uh, onboard chargers, with invert traction inverters. And finally, we have something on, on in-cabin monitoring. So that's all from the automotive side of our booth. Let's move over now to what we're showing for our industrial customers over on this side. Our industrial customers face different challenges, but they have a lot of the same technologies are going to be proper to you. We're starting here with infrastructure. We're showing here a small little factory line that is actually very similar to something we have in our own fabs. And we're using it to illustrate a number of use cases that illustrate how customers can use the technologies that exist today in order to make, improve their operational efficiencies, reduce downtime or reduce costs. Among those, we have uh, asset tracking as a use case. We also have uh, visual inspection based on AI embedded into a camera. And we have uh, condition monitoring. All of these are based on products that we offer, such as microcontrollers and microprocessors, wired and wireless communication, analog devices, smart sensors, image sensors, all of which allow our customers to build the solutions that they need. The second key challenge that we're looking at for our industrial customers is related to power and energy. With the rising demand for electrical energy, electrical power efficiency is more important than ever. And here we have a number of examples where our customers are using our solutions in order to make that more efficient going from power generation to power distribution and storage to end consumption. And one of the key areas, uh, which is really interesting for a fast growth area, is actually power for AI servers, powering ChatGPT and his brethren. And here we're showing off some solutions which show the complexity of the power conversion from the AC voltage all the way down to the 12 volts, so four complex steps. So when we talk about power efficiency, we need to talk about one of the key technologies that empowers that, namely wideband of semiconductors, and in particular, silicon carbide. Silicon carbide is an area where ST is investing heavily in manufacturing capacity to build a fully vertically integrated manufacturing machine. So we take it all the way from the powder, basically the silicon carbide powder, which makes the ingots, which makes the wafers, which, on which we do the wafer fabrication, which we build the devices, and we move all the way to the power modules, because delivering power in the right form factor for our customers is key. So as you can see, we have lots of exciting things to show you here at Electronica, and we really hope that you'll be able to join us here, because our technology starts with you.